Hey there Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back. Aquarius, this is going to be your love reading for March 2023. So we're going to take a look at love. What you can expect, what's coming towards you, what is going on for March. Now if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon and rising for more clarity. Okay, you may even want to look at your Venus. Okay, Aquarius, we have the Six of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Page of Swords. The King of Swords. We have the Magician. We have the Moon card. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like there's some kind of information that this person wants to share with you. Um, and I feel like, you know, your current energy is receiving that information. Um, you could be currently receiving downloads, receiving information, maybe having thoughts and dreams about this person um you may or may ha you may or may not have met this person yet um but i feel like this person is coming from a very happy place and they're ready to share with you what it is that they're doing i feel like they're like they, they could be working on something that's going to bring more money or more wealth into the life. You could actually meet this person at work. Um, because I feel like, you know, there's, there's a lot of energy here to where this person is working on something. Um, with ideas, you know, thoughts, emotions, planting seeds, okay? Um, but I feel like this person really wants to speak to you about a certain situation. This could be a another air sign, or this could be you, Aquarius, as the King of Swords. I feel like they have important information for you, you know, or like I said, this could be um, another air sign coming towards you, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Okay, um, but I feel like they're ready to create something, something totally different than what they've ever had. They're willing to plant the seeds in order to make this new love adventure happen. You know, I feel like this is sort of some kind of discovery for them. And I feel like they're coming from a point of fears. I feel like this person has a lot of fears. You know? There may be something in their past that is kind of holding them back. You know, I, I, I'm really getting that this person is shy. I'm really getting that this person is kind of withdrawn in a way and may have an ability to speak more on paper than they do in person. You know? I feel like they can write down their thoughts very well. But when they come to speak their thoughts, it's like all jumbled. It's like they they can't get out the right version of what they want to say. Okay? Um, and I feel like that's kind of making them hesitate, making them fear, you know, coming into the situation. Okay, we have the Emperor. Very interesting. So this could be Aries energy. Um, uh, this could be the need to take control of the situation. This could be someone who's a 
very eager and able. Someone who is very capable. You know, they may be an entrepreneur. They may have their own business. They may be a very good thinker. Um, very intelligent is what I'm getting. But I feel like this person has a lot to say. They just may have the inability to speak the words. I feel like they, they can say the words more proficiently by writing them down. You know, and they're working on planting the seeds to, you know, give you that information. Very interesting here. But they definitely want to communicate with you. Look at this, the Eight of Wands. This is fast moving energy. So this person may be thinking and as they're thinking, they're writing things down and they may be texting you. They may be writing you. Um, but I feel like this energy is moving really fast. They have a lot to say. They really have a lot to communicate to you. They want you to know so many things. And I feel like this energy is fast moving as well. So this could be happen, happening very quickly with the King of Cups energy. They think about you a lot. They, they wonder if you see them. They wonder if you, you know, if you have the same feelings, if you recognize them, if you watch them. Because I feel like this person may be checking on you, checking on your social media, checking on, you know, where you're at in your life. You know, I feel like they want to know more about, about your background. That sounds a little creepy, but yeah. I feel like they have good intentions, but I feel like they... They're deep in their emotions. But they definitely want to be recognized. They want you to see them. Pay attention. They want to know if... If you could possibly find that stability or that value in them okay with the king of pentacles energy this could be someone who's very independent but also very stable very solid i feel like they they have the ability to really take care of themselves be very independent they have the the money to you know do the things that they want i really feel like with this king of pentacles energy the, and this King of Cups energy that they really want to spoil you, you know. Um, they think about the things that they can do um, when they take you out with this Hierophant energy. Yeah, they may be asking for advice on the best way to approach you. Because I feel like they're, they're kind of starstruck when they see you, Aquarius. <laughs> you know you have that ability, beautiful Aquarius, to, you know, leave someone speechless, you know? Let's get some love cards. Tell me more about this person. Um, how is this person feeling? What is their true intentions? Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Tell me more about this person. And I feel like spirit has a sense of humor because every time I do this, I'm always dropping cards where it's hard to reach them. So, yes. Oh, we have surrender. Okay, we have surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So there may be something that they need to let go or that you need to let go. Something's going to be released. We have only time will tell. And 
when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love you know so i feel like this person has done a lot of soul searching okay we also have passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present time enjoy it definitely we have freedom there's nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be okay wow and it keeps going romance soulmates wow so i mean this could be significant aquarius spirit give me a message for this person what would this person say to aquarius if they had a chance what are they their real intentions give me a message from this person to aquarius what do they want to say to aquarius please okay oh i wish i had treated you better this could be coming from someone from the past i am becoming a better person I couldn't let you get close to me. So this could be someone that you've already known. Someone who's trying to come back. Um, I don't react when people mention you. Maybe they're trying to keep things secret. They're trying to keep things hidden. For some reason. So many things remind me of you. Definitely sounds like someone coming in from the past. Some kind of past energy. If it wasn't a past lover, I feel like it, it's someone that you're familiar with. And someone that you may not realize has feelings for you. Okay. Uh, someone pretty close to you. I look for you everywhere. So I feel like they all, they, they have you on their mind. A lot there's a lot of swords in this reading so I feel like they have done a lot of soul searching a lot of thinking a lot of contemplating on how to go about the situation you know um, I want to tell you how I feel so it, it's definitely someone you don't realize that this person how they feel I feel like they've kept it hidden they haven't um, they haven't released that information to you yet, but I feel like they're going to. But I feel like they're afraid of how you will react. Okay. Give me a message for this person. Tell me more about this person. What is the current situation? Okay, we have camera. They're constantly thinking about you, Aquarius. They're reminiscing. Uh, they may be looking at your social media if you have one. Um, I feel like if this is someone that you already know, they may have pictures of you and them together in some kind of social setting. Uh, but I feel like they're reminiscing on times when you were together. Okay. Not showing their true feelings. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like this person has been really contemplating how to approach you. But I feel like th all they can do is hide their feelings because they're afraid of how they're going to come across. How you're going to react to the situation. How it's going to unfold. You know. Um, we also have take a chance, go a risk. So I feel like this person wants you to take a chance. They want you to, you know, um, take a risk on, you know, being with them, hearing them out, you know, maybe accepting an offer to go out with them. You know, I feel like this person is actively waiting for you to maybe show a sign that you are thinking the same way of them. Okay, um, so this is what I have for you, Aquarius. I'm going to get two more cards. 
remain positive. They're remaining positive in the situation, but they want you to take them up on the offer because you are their abundance. Um, and they're hoping to get a yes. You know, so that's beautiful energy, Aquarius. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun, moon and rising for more clarity. I have all of the March readings up. So if you want to take a look at your sun, moon, rising and maybe your Venus sign, that'll give you more clarity on the situation. Okay. Until your next reading, Aquarius, many blessings to you, love and light.